Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. What is the difference between .NET and ASP.NET? Which language is using the company most for web development, Java or .NET with C Sharp or Django? So .NET development, .NET was launched in year 2000 by Microsoft. Okay. And before .NET, Microsoft had had a complete Visual Studio of programming languages, which had Visual Basic, Visual C++, um, uh, Visual Fox Pro. And these were the programming language that Microsoft was focusing on. And they had a complete development suite called Visual Studio in which all these programming languages were available. Okay. But these programming languages were sequential programming languages and they were rapid application development languages, but Microsoft wanted to move from that to an object oriented programming language because in 1995 Java was launched as an open source and as an answer to Java, Microsoft developed their own .NET programming language. Okay. In .NET, .NET is actually a framework. What is a framework? Framework means that a lot of work, lot of software development tools are already de developed by Microsoft within that framework. So in 2000, when they launched .NET, .NET already had all the tools which are required for building software application. Okay. And which programming languages you could use. You could use either Visual Basic .NET. You could use C Sharp .NET. You could use uh, maybe Fox Pro .NET. I don't know C++ .NET. But there were three to four programming languages which you could use with .NET. Okay. .NET from 2000 to 2021. Now 22 is coming. Has evolved. Now .NET is in the era of dotnet core okay so there is a core application of dotnet which is the underlying layer of all the connection you can make with the database the connection you can make with objects the connection you can make with the front end the connection you can make with services so there, there is a core dotnet and then there are other layers of dotnet in which comes the programming language where or the, there are front end tools so there are front end tools like uh, ASP.NET, correct? ASP.NET is a front-end tool for building web application on the Microsoft platform like Azure or Internet IIS server. Okay, so that is ASP.NET, but that ASP.NET works with the .NET Core. The underlying layer is .NET Core. Okay, backend programming, server programming will be handled by the .NET Core the front end will be handled by ASP.NET. If you are building a .NET application for Windows machines like Windows Server or Windows uh, Desktop, then you can use .NET to build, uh, build, desktop, build desktop application. For that, you will have WinForms, which is like similar to ASP.NET, but it will only work on Windows Desktop clients. Correct. So that is the difference between .NET and ASP.NET. Now, which language is which language is using the company most for web development? Java or .NET or C Sharp or Django? Well, if you talk about web development projects, uh, PHP is at the front because PHP is not just used for web development project. It is also used for building websites. Okay. On WordPress uh, content management system. So if you, if you will see which programming language, you will see that lot of uh, web applications are powered by PHP. Okay. Then there is Ruby on Rails. Okay. Uh, you have .NET and Java. Now .NET and Java is specifically used for enterprise level applications. Enterprise level application means if somebody wants to build an AWS, they may use Java as a programming language 
to build the entire aws infrastructure or somebody wants to build an azure okay azure cloud they will use the entire dotnet uh, to build such an enterprise level application okay huge applications will usually use dotnet or java okay and if you are using dotnet then people will use either c sharp or visual basic or whatever other programming languages dotnet supports dotnet also supports python now uh, i think from dotnet core onwards it also supports python when you talk about django django is a framework of python so if you are developing any web applications within python then you can use django okay now the thing to do is keshav you should not be worried about which programming language is used most by companies because you should only worry about which programming language you like and then find the company which is working in that particular programming language so if you like working on java then focus completely on java and build all your skills on java and then find companies which are working in java and then build your career on that programming language okay don't go the other way around it's like if you want to do cricket do you like batting or bowling correct at least one of them you need to like to be on the cricket team correct you you don't ask like uh which is more popular no no i will learn batting only but for some reason you you don't have a good eye for batting okay then what will you do correct so you learn things that you like and then you find the companies that you want to work for okay keshav i hope that answers your question all of you who are still watching this video like this video so that youtube algorithm will spread this video uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed and press the bell icon so that, that you will get all the updates when i am going live thank you very much and see you in the next live